this is Nick from Review Outlaw and today we're going to show you how to put some sliding glass doors in. So what we have here is a porch deck. Um, there was originally just a deck, screen and deck, and they enclosed it here at a later date. Um, so what I've done so far is taken just fascia board off just so we can see what we're working with underneath. And you can see they put a 2x10, uh, actually double 2x10 up here which is correct but they did not put any post down in the corner so that's one thing that I know I need to do what I'm going to be putting is a slider here I'm going to be putting a 16 foot slider here and a 5 foot slider here and then replacing this with some windows again on this side you can see they had the 2x10 which was correct but they did not put the post down so I'm going to be adding post in each one of these corners I'm going to be having a laminate beam going up here and basically, again, they did not put any kind of 2x10 here, so we're definitely going to add a laminate beam here. Uh, we're going to be putting a post in each of one of these corners. Now, what you also want to do when you ever do a, any kind of uh, changing to your house is you want to look underneath the house and see what they have. Um, are there posts going straight through? Now, we've added all these metal posts here. Uh, they didn't have them. They were just cinder blocks. So now we know that the bottom is structurally secure. They're double 2x8s, laminated, uh, not laminated, glued and screwed and uh, galvanized nails to them so we know they're very strong. We can make adjustments here with the post, see if this is loose, we can tighten that up. Uh, what we need to do is we're gonna need to add some more cement blocks. These go down below the frost line, uh, 36 inches below the ground. So we know they're not gonna frost heave. Um, this is what they had before, and as you can see, there's just cinder blocks sitting here. So the problem with that is you can get ice underneath, you can push up, frost heave, move, shift, uh, not very structurally secure. Uh, th these also uh, were starting to crack as ice would get in and crack the cinder blocks up. So that's what we've been replacing, and we're going to be replacing that in the front. So as the weight comes down from the beam, it'll go down right in the ground, be a nice strong corner of the house, which is important. So we'll give you uh, updates as we progress along the project. All right, what we're doing today here is we've got the front cut off. Um, we're going to be putting a new sill in. This is a 2 by 12 and we're butting it up against these boards. Basically, we want it underneath right here. So all the weight from all the windows and the sliders we're going to be putting in is all even. What I did was I got a uh, half piece here and it's going to join with bolts to the next piece in the middle and that's going to make it all one long post. I'm going to be digging five holes today in the ground um, in concrete pillars so these are just temporary jacks so the weight is off and we can work around here. So that's what we're going to be doing today and then hopefully if it doesn't rain we can get these posts up so the house can rest on those and then uh, on to the next part. Alright, today, uh, yesterday was rainy, so I can show you really much what we did. We added was five posts, which you can see it got covered right now. We'll let those set, and it's going to be the five posts underneath the front. I'm going to put a 2x12 all along here, and we get a different post that's going to take all the pressure from the bottom of that. So today we're going to be doing one more post and we'll see how the weather holds up. Alright, so now for the next day here, uh, as you can see we've added some additional pressure treated side braces and we've tied that to the front. Um, we have all the temporary jacks off. We have the main support bolted. So these are two 16 footers two double 16 footers, two by 12s. Uh, as you go down, there's five pillars in the middle that's taking all the weight. And then on this side, we have another two by 12, which is tied into a front. It's all level. And then we have some additional pillars supporting that. We're just greasing up these jacks so they don't rust up. And if you look underneath here, um, we have even weights going across all uh, covering the bottom of the building. 
So as you can see now, we've painted um, the post, jack post, uh, with just some rust proof paint so we don't have any rusting. We also lubed up and oiled the top piece here, and that was giving us a little uh, rust there. So that's going to prevent that from rusting up. Um, we got the 2x12 on this side attached, leveled to here. Then we have this long front 2x12 bolted together. Then on this side, we've also now added a board that's going to connect the front to the back. And you can see we have double jacks and some posts just to um, give us double support. And uh, the cement pillars, they go down um, 36 inches into the ground. Uh, plus another six to eight inches on top, so way be below the frost line.